Good morning. Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? I got um, announcements to make. So I'm going to wait and see if everybody can come up real quick. I'll wait for some people here. It's early. It's early. Let's see. Good morning. Let's see. Hi, guys. Uh, everybody's coming in. Hey, Gina, how are you? Robert, how are you? Jay, what's up? I got, uh, I have an announcement to make, but I'm going to wait for a little bit and try to get the whole group here. Marianne. Just a couple of seconds or a minute or two and, and I'll, I'll start. Hi, June. Dawn, how are you? Um, I'll start with the scans yesterday. Um, yesterday I went in and did uh, my scan work for uh, the whole body, PET scan. Hi, Mary. Hello, Mary and Mary <laughs> and Lana and Karen and Paul. Dawn. Sharky! Um, okay. I went in and did the scans yesterday, and they were um, long. Uh, it was a little bit of a long process. I was out of there by 10 a.m., so 7.30 to 10. So I did uh, about four and a half hours, or three and a, about three and a half hours yesterday uh, of testing. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. I'm, this is a pretty big announcement. I want to wait and make sure people are here for it. Chris, can you put in the group? Um, 911, maybe, so everybody comes in. Hi, Jen. How are you? Tom, how are you? I'm just going to give this a half a minute more to let people come up. I don't want to keep everybody, but uh, this is a big announcement. So put it this way. This is uh, the biggest announcement that the group's ever had. And uh, I want to give everybody the news at one time. So Matt, how are you, buddy? Uh, again, the scans were yesterday. It was, it was good. Maguru. I have uh I have some news. I have some news. I gotta get some stuff out. I hope you're well. Uh, I'm right next to you through your whole fight. Maguru's in Japan. He's um he's battling cancer as well, and uh, we're gonna get you through it, my friend. I promise I'll be right next to you. Ed, how are you? Um, this is a big announcement I'm going to make, so I'm, I'm trying to wait to see if more people come. Please bear with me. Just hang in there with me for another minute or two, and I'll get to it. Um, I want to make sure that an ample amount of people hear this firsthand, because um, that's just it's just right. It's, it's just right. So um, let's see. Give it a minute more, and I'll start talking. I know it's early. It's uh, it's only 9 a.m. I mean, I'm I'm unshaved. I got a <laughs> pudgy face. I'm off the steroids. Um, Lori, how are you? Uh, I'm off the steroids right now, um, and uh, I'm feeling much better that way. You know, I'm uh, they weighed me in. I'm 164 pounds, which is Seriously <laughs> heavy for me. I'm not used to being that weight, but uh, it'll dissipate. My cheeks are coming back a little bit. I'm off the steroids. Uh, Gina, hello. Hey, Kath. Uh, all right. Um, 
number's still going up here. One more minute and that's it. You know, I'm not going to keep everybody. I don't want to keep everybody. Um, I just want to get the information out to you as fast as possible. Um, all right, so I, I think we're, we're clear for a go. Um, uh, Mario, hey, Mar, how are you? Good to see you. Laura, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, um, well, let's begin. I think this is enough here. Um, let's start, and uh, we'll go through the motions. Um, when I was diagnosed with cancer uh, back in June or July, uh, July, they told me um, something very specific. Hi, Barbara. Um, and that was that... Um, um, I would never be a remission case. Um, it's going to take, um, it would take nothing short of a miracle for that to happen. And, uh, you know, we, we would be um, more, of a, more of a containment issue, you know, containing the cancer um, in my body. And unfortunately, as of late, it, it got loose. It, it loosened itself up and went up into the brain. And uh, we took care of the tumor. Uh, we're pretty sure we took care of the tumor. So as a precaution, um, we did a lot of scan work yesterday. As you all know, I've been posting a lot of stuff. And um, the reason I do that is to show you the other side of things, you know, that you don't see. You see me laughing. You see happy. Um, you know, you see Chrissy and I on trips or whatever. And um, But you don't see a lot of the, the harder stuff you don't see. And... Um, you know, that's one of the reasons I did that. I want you to see what a day in the life was like of somebody that has cancer. And my schedule was light compared to everybody else's. Um, not, mm -hmm. not an easy, uh, not an easy uh, trip for anybody, you know, involved. And um, they did scans yesterday um, for me to, to procure um, an answer as to whether or not it traveled anywhere else in my body and they did a PET scan which shows cancer everywhere um, my oncologist just called me um, way ahead of schedule I was scheduled mm -hmm. for a uh, phone call this afternoon at 2 p.m. and I was going to do the results then but she felt that the news that she had couldn't wait and she wanted to get it to me immediately so at 8 o'clock this morning I was told um, by my oncologist, Chrissy and I were sitting at the table on a conference call, um, that I am what you would call an ED. I'm going to let that sink in just for a second. They told me that I am NED this morning. What that means What that means is that there's no cancer found in my body. I'm going to let that sink in just for a second. What that means is that there is no cancer found in my body. What I'm trying to say And what they're telling me is, I'm cancer free. That's what they're telling me. They're telling me I'm cancer free this morning at eight o'clock. The scans that they did came back clean. There is no cancer in my body. <laughs> uh, I want to share the joy with you all because you are my army. You are the rock that I've been perched on for the last eight months. You are the family 
that rallied around me and covered me in love. This has been nothing short of amazing. I don't know where we go from here. Um, it's been one hell of a road. It's been one hell of a road. Um, and I couldn't believe the words that were being spoken to me on the phone. That's Chrissy. She's talking to people. Um, <laughs> to say thank you to you all is not enough. Not enough. The love that I have for all of you is real and it's tangible. It's here. And when the coronavirus is over, I promise you, I don't care how long it takes. One by one, we will have dinner together. I promise you. I don't give a fuck where you live. I don't care if it's California. Um, I got to lose a couple pounds. <laughs> I'm a little, a little overweight. Uh, thank you. Um, I am beside myself. Um, wait. I'm in shock right now. Um, I, I need a haircut really bad. <laughs> Sandy. Sandy. You were right. We were right. She's here. Um, first, I want to thank God and St. Teresa for walking me down this path. Um, and Jesus. I want to thank everybody here in this group. I want to thank my doctors. I want to thank the world. There is such a swirl of emotions going through my head right now that I can't even um, I can't even form a sentence. It's really hard for me to to put it in words. Um, I know then I'm going to be crying a whole lot more because <laughs> this is just ridiculously amazing um, news and totally unexpected. Um, Gina, uh, I'll, I'll say it again for everybody that's here. Um, if you're just tuning in or you missed it, I am cancer free today. I got a phone call at 8 a.m. 8 this morning from my oncologist, and she informed me that they cannot find cancer in my body anywhere, okay? So I am cancer-free at the moment. And I, this is something that they told me would not happen. This is something they told me could not happen um, and shouldn't happen, but it, it happened. I did it. We did it. We we are there. We did it. We're there. We're there. Francisco, you're next. You're next, buddy. I want to hear those words out of your mouth, and I will. I know I will. I'm right next to you. This does not mean by any stretch of the imagination that I will not stand next to my fucking fellow brethren that has cancer and fight with you. On the contrary, I plan on beefing that up a whole lot more, okay? Um, I just got a lease where on life where I can move around a lot more than what I thought I could. So now I'm mobile, all right? Um, I'm going to dive in head first. Uh, Maguru out in Japan, I'm with you every step of the way. Francisco, you're going to kick the fucking shit out of this, all right? That's what you're going to do. You're going to kick the shit out of this. And you, my friend, are going to survive this because you're a fighter just like I am. And I see so many of us. There's so many. And I'm not going to not be here for all of you. I will still have my... This group is staying put. Okay? I love you guys to death. 
Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe the words that she spoke. I mean, I, I'm still in shock. Um, there's more people tuning in, so I'll say it again. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you this morning cancer fucking free. Woo! <laughs> so that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Um, nothing short of a miracle. And I'm blown away. Um, don't know what to say. Just hanging with you guys for a minute here. Just want to hang with you and sit and let it sink in. And uh, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. For once, I'm at a loss for words, and it's a beautiful thing. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, Kathy, they do. They just did. You're looking at one. God chose me. And uh, that's it. That's all I can think. That's all I can say. I, I, I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. I, I can't believe that I heard those words. I never once expected to hear that. Um, yes, Vivian, we did it. Pretzels. <laughs> it was the pretzels. It was the pretzels. I cannot tell you all what you mean to me. I have um, been put on a pedestal and carried for six months seven, eight months by all of you and l loved and it's just one of the most beautiful things I've ever witnessed in my life. I, um, I'm floating on a cloud right now so it's hard for me to to put into words um, how I feel. We, uh, we have been through the mill, you know, we, we have traveled a road and it has been a long one. Um, my body's been through so many changes. Um, I just don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. Um, smash that cup. I was thinking about it. <laughs> it was in the, uh, it's in there. It was in there this morning. I got this one too. This, now I'm not going to smash. They're um, a testament to our strength. Not my strength, our strength. Yes, Barb, I'll keep up on the videos. I'm not going to go away. I'm going to be here. Um, the group is still here. Yeah, Howie. <laughs> yes, Dave, and we will. I got to call the other Dave and talk to him, too. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, I just want to sit with you guys for a minute and enjoy it. <laughs> hey, Joseph. <laughs> Junior, you know what? I'm thinking about it already. You know I am. <laughs> I got to chill for a little bit. I got to get my body back. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that. Thank you, Pia. I, um, I, I am, I'm just, I'm in shock. And I got to do something with my eyebrows now. I'm looking at them. I'm seeing them. 
Maguru, you're next. You are next, my friend. You're going to beat this. You're going to get through this. And I'm going to stand next to you every step of the way. You will beat this. You will. I promise you. For a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to run right back to the house, I mean, to, to the job. Um, not right away. I got to get my body back in shape a little bit. Um, thanks, Maguru. Um, for all of you that don't know, my buddy Maguru just had surgery out in, in uh, Japan. Um, had cancer removed from both lungs. And I, I'm, I'm going to say it was a success for him because I want him to be healthy and, and happy. Um, I want him to enjoy what I am enjoying uh, mm -hmm. without the work that I had to to go through. But uh, hopefully that happens. You know, that for we, and I know it will, Maguru. You're going to be fine. I promise you. We're going to walk you through it. I'm going to be right next to you. Yeah, Ma, I'm going to be cooking chili. Oh, thank you for the hearts, guys. <laughs> Tina. Tina, guess what, Tina? I'm cancer free, Tina. You heard that right. I'm cancer free. As of 8 a.m. this morning, I'm NED. Uh, I'm going to say it again. I'm cancer free as of this morning. I, I have. <laughs> yes, Ed, we will. We'll talk. <laughs> Love you too, Ma. The tumor is gone. They have uh, a little tiny scar there where it was, but it's gone. The tumor itself in the lung is gone. That's what I said, T, and a bunch of other stuff. Victoria, hello. Stacy Ann, I'm cancer free. Is that not crazy? This is just uh, insanity. I'm blown away. I can't even. I can't even. Uh... <laughs> Donna, <laughs> you did. We both said it. <laughs> he said it. I know you did. Um. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm <laughs> love you too. Thank you. God is good all the time, all the time, Tina, all the time. Um, Saint Teresa had her way, and Christ and God, and uh, I am I am truly blessed. Gino, how you doing, buddy? I'm cancer free, Paisan. It's true. I know I look like hell right now, but <laughs> um, I got a, a hair trimmer coming. <laughs> Cut my hair. Uh, I, I just wanted to share and sit with you guys and take a minute with you. Bill? Bill, I'm cancer free, Bill. Teresa, I'm cancer free. Jen, I'm cancer free. Cancer free, guys. As of this morning at 8 a.m. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. My oncologist wanted to call me at like 6 a.m. with the news. She couldn't believe it. She must have went over the scans yesterday, and uh, I was scheduled for 2 p.m. call today. But, uh... It's going to sink in. It will sink in. I mean, it's uh, it's there, but just still in shock. <laughs> yes, Bill. You're still here with us, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my brother-in-law, Bill Cruz, who fought and won against COVID. 
Tough Cookie. One of my role models. It's great to see you here, Bill. I'm, I'm more than happy. We were praying for you the whole time here in the in the group. And uh, I can't say what this means to me. I can't tell you. It, it just seems so unreal. It seems unreal. I, I've been through quite a bit of stuff here and never expected anything even remotely close to this. So there are um, there are things that I need to do in this world and I'm going to do them all. I'm going to make sure. Um, one of the things I'm going to do No, Tina, I wasn't. Never. And one of the things that I'm going to do is make sure that this group stays together because um, what this is is an outpouring of love that the world needs to see. Um, love killed this shit. And I believe that. Love killed this shit. This is based solely on will and love from friends and family and God and I can't tell you guys what it feels like to have a second lease on life but I can tell you how happy I am I can tell you that you can expect miracles in life you can expect things to happen to you that you never thought possible. So whatever stage of the game you're in, you never give up. You fight. You fight. You don't quit. There's reasons. I'm living proof of that now. And I'm going to make sure that everybody in the world knows it. I don't know how this happened or why me. All I know is that it happened. And I'm going to make sure that the world knows why. I want to say thank you. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart to everybody that's been here. On my darkest days, <laughs> when I thought that was the end of my road, <laughs> and I want to tell you that I love you for it. <sighs> Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> as always, in the morning, a salute to all of you who have been standing next to me for the last eight months tirelessly. I love you. Thank you. I have about 200 phone calls to make, so I'm going to start making my calls. Um, thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Dave. I'm going to go make some phone calls now and get some breakfast. I love you all, and I promise we'll talk soon. Um, still going to do Joe Talk. Um, I'll be putting an episode up, hopefully this week early. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? I love you all. Thank you so much. I'll be back soon. I love you.
Yes, Barb, I'll keep up on the videos. I'm not going to go away. I'm going to be here. Um, the group is still here. Yeah, Howie. <laughs> yes, Dave, and we will. I got to call the other Dave and talk to him, too. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, I just want to sit with you guys for a minute and enjoy it. <laughs> hey, Joseph. <laughs> Junior, you know what? I'm thinking about it already. You know I am. <laughs> I got to chill for a little bit. I got to get my body back. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that. Thank you, Pia. 